Hello, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm going to show you how to take a 55 gallon food safe barrel and put a spigot on it so that you can actually use it for storing water. And I'll put a link down in the description where you can actually get these um, particular spigots. And hang tight, we'll get started. So here's the suggested tools that I suggest you get. You want a tape measure, a 10 inch or a bigger crescent, a channel pair of channel locks, a little socket or something else to weight, a drill, and an inch and a quarter inch hole saw. And then here's your box that you would get. And it comes complete with instructions right there. Uh, Teflon tape course the spigot and it has the the nuts already on it and then it also they also send you with a nylon string that you can tie that socket on for weight so the first thing we're going to do is go right down the center of the seam from one of the bung holes and I'll lay the barrel down and then we'll take a tape measure after I dry it off it's been raining today so everything's wet but I will uh, mark that, and we want it at three and a half inches up from the bottom. And that just happens to be right at the five gallon mark on the barrel, where, right where the seam is in the five gallon mark, and you go ahead and drill down through with your inch and a quarter socket, or inch and a quarter hole saw, excuse me. And if you're lucky, the piece of plastic will stay in the hole saw. Ah, oh, I was lucky. But there is little shavings, and so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to wash those out. So I will get my uh, hose and spray nozzle, and I'll rinse everything off on the inside. I'll go around it and get everything rinsed down so all of those little pieces will run down the walls and sit on the bottom of the barrel. After I get a little bit of water in there, I want to probably at least a gallon of or a half gallon to a gallon of water in there. And those plastic should float out with the water. So now you can see that the water's already running out of the bottom hole. But we dump it out so it comes out the bung hole as well. Trying to get it all out. And I actually ended up doing this a couple times. I only showed once on the video, but I had a couple little pieces of plastic in there, so I did it again. Now I'm looking in there with my flashlight, looking around, make sure there's no little pieces of plastic in there that would be in your water. Now you just run the nylon thread through a little socket. You can use something else too. It just, just seems to be very easy. And it's very simple. You just drop it down there. You tilt the thing forward. It comes right out the hole. And so you want to make sure you hang on to that upper string so it doesn't fall down inside. Then you put your inside fitting on with a ga gasket going to the inside of the barrel. Or pointed to the outside, but it's on the inside. And then I'm holding on to the string on both ends so that I can get my finger in the center of that fitting. And I'm wiggling it through the uh, hole that we've drilled. And then I'm going to take... Take the nut, I've left the string in there just to be sure that I don't end up pulling that piece off on the inside. And then once I get it started, oh, by the way, this is left-hand threads. Uh, you need to remember that instead of righty-tighty, it's lefty-tighty on this. So you take a pair of channel locks and I reach my finger inside the fitting and I kind of hold it up flush that rubber on the inside is keeping it from spinning by me pulling it tight. Again, left-hand threads. So we're turning it counterclockwise. And then um, we'll take our spigot and we'll the, take the Teflon tape and you're going to wind it around the threads clockwise as you're looking at the end. And you're going to make five wraps around this with a Teflon tape. Try to keep it as flat as you can. You don't want it all bunched up. And then you just pull it and it snaps it. Now this is right hand threads. So then you will turn that in there. And that will keep the Teflon tape from coming undone. Since it, the way you put it on there. 
Then I'll grab my channel locks and my 10 inch crescent. Uh, eight inch crescent is just too small. I gotta use a 10 inch or bigger. And I'll hold the nut on the outside and I'll turn the spigot clockwise until it comes up nice and snug with the handle sitting on the top. And that's it. Well, I hope that was some good information for you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon, and then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.